Removing a fishing wire like this is as easy as this. One of the first videos I made was for Calas Confiture. It contains this shot of a lid landing on a jar of jam. My name is Ruben and today I'm going to recreate that shot and show you how to remove the fishing wire in After Effects. First, I need to set up the shot. I attach a light with a big softbox to a C-stand and place it right above the table. I use the turntable kit of Edelkron to put the jar on. It has a nice reflective surface and I can connect it to my phone to make it spin. Instead of a backdrop, I'm using a mini LED light of Aperture to shine a color on my white walls. I use the same technique in my talking headshots and I'm super happy with those results. I want some more information in the footage, so I've put a small LED light of Filtox on the left. Then I tape the fishing wire into the lid and I'm ready to film. I'm going to pull the lid off, but in reverse it will look like it lands on the jar. Open your footage in After Effects. Go to Effect and Presets, look for simple wire removal and drop that on your footage. Then you get two points. Place those two markers on each end of the wire. Then go to the settings and adjust the thickness of the effect as much as needed. Add keyframes for point A and point B so you can change the placement throughout the video if needed. Et voila, the wire is gone. Now we just have to reverse the video to get the shot we want. To make the effect even more believable, you have to look for a sound effect that matches the action. I'm using Epidemic Sounds for all my music and sound effects, but of course there are multiple sites that can help you with that. When finished, it looks like this. That's it for me, like and subscribe for more.